Hey you all, this is Brian and you're watching the Motherland channel. So today, Jen and I were thinking, how can we beef up our homes a bit? Let's be real, most homes can't take a bullet. And hey, not every survival enthusiast is rolling in dough, right? Not everyone can splurge on steel or those fancy cuddler curtains to beef up their crib. In this video, we'll share some low-budget tips to bulletproof your home. Now, just some quick disclaimers. First, when it comes to prepping, you shouldn't talk about it. Other than your family, nobody should have a clue that you're stocked up with rub, water, and supplies. Once the word gets out that your place is the go-to spot when stuff hits the fan, you better believe everyone and their mama will be on your doorstep. Let's face it, hunger can make the sweetest person go rogue. They totally swipe your last can of beans without a second thought. So either keep it on the down low or deal with the drama. Up to you. Second, you and your home should blend in. Aside from keeping things hush-hush, make sure you and your place don't stick out. You want to be like everyone else in your hood. No red flags, right? So to keep your fam and your stash safe, dress like everyone else around. Don't make a show of what you buy. Got curtains or blinds? Use them to keep nosy folks out. Trash a receipt? Tear it up first. Chill on the personal posts on social media. Getting crafty with your landscaping. Think about window boxes and planters. And I know it might sound bonkers, but bear with me. Ever noticed those huge planters with flowers at military bases or government buildings? You think those are just for the aesthetics? Consider this. If you build a seemingly standard window box from the ground up to your windowsill on the first floor, you could actually be setting up a pretty slick defensive barrier under each window, and nobody would even notice. It might even add a cool decorative touch to your home. Whether you pick wood or brick to build, it's your call. None is bulletproof, so go with what vibes with your house, but fill them with sand, not dirt. Sand's way better at stopping bullets. Seven inches of sand can bust a bullet, even from a high-power rifle, but dirt would need triple that thickness to do the same, so avoid it. I'd recommend building the boxes with an interior thickness of 14 to 21 inches, which is more than enough to halt a bullet. Every 7 inches inside, place a thin steel sheet, 1 16th will do, to reduce the sand leakage from multiple shots. If you've got the budget, add some steel sheets to the back part facing the house for some extra security. If thick steel is out of reach, layering thin sheets is equally cool. Often, it's even more effective. And if you've got some yard space, Pop in some large planters built the same way around the house. They look like mere decorations, but double as a solid defense line for your crib. Plus, since they're outside, no worries about weighing down your floors. Now, you've got a sneaky protective spot under every window and around your turf. Beefing up your perimeter defense. The main game is keeping any troublemakers out of your yard. If someone's gutsy enough to try and break in, you want to keep them way out of reach. Big fences? Think twice. Some folks swear by a towering 7-foot fence around the yard to keep away nosy folks. Sure, it's harder for peeps to snoop, but it's also like waving a big flag that says, Hey, I've got cool stuff here. If you're thinking fences, go for something that doesn't scream fortress. A solid chain link or a good old wooden fence works wonders. And if things get wild, slap some barbed wire or spikes up top. That'll make folks think twice before trying to hop over. Signs speak louder than actions. Another nifty trick is hanging up some intimidating signs around your space. Something like quarantine zone, no trespassing, or step on my lawn and your toast. Might make someone nope right out of there. And the classic beware of dog, always a winner, even if your dog is a goldfish. Though, if things get crazy out there, advertising you've got a furry friend might not be too wise. You don't want someone eyeing your pooch as a snack. Get techie with cameras and lights. Just 
peeping through the blinds ain't gonna cut it when you're on high alert. Consider getting some security cameras and solar-powered motion lights. Spread them around your property and no sneaky person can get past you. Those cameras, perfect for catching live footage of anyone trying to pull a fast one on you. They're like having a bunch of nosy neighbors, but without the gossip. As for the motion lights, they'll light up anyone trying to be all stealthy after dark. They pop on when someone enters their zone. And to make sure they're not just lighting up for a curious raccoon or something, I'll give you some more tips. Gearing up for protection. If you have guns, great. But if you don't, it's okay. A few reliable, non-lethal tools that you and your family might have will work in a pinch. It's a good idea to have these tools in different parts of your house. Don't stress if you've got curious little ones. There are tons of sneaky spots like behind a painting, inside a fake outlet, or under the kitchen table to hide your gear. And if you're ever caught in a tight spot, don't forget that regular stuff around your house like fire extinguishers, golf clubs, baseball bats, crowbars, hammers, and those fold-up shovels can come in handy. Toughening up your entry spots. So, what if someone's bold enough to breeze past your defenses? Let's say they roll their eyes at your signs, climb over your fence, shrug off your cameras and lights, and then try to waltz through your door or window. That's when you need to step up your game on home defense. Getting sturdy doors and windows could be the game changer in keeping unwanted guests out and keeping your family safe. Bump up that door security. When stuff goes south, intruders, especially the real desperate ones, are not going to bother with sneaky entries like chimneys or basements to get to your goods. Nah, they'll just strut up to your front door and try to bash it in. Don't make it easy for them. Here are things you can do to buff up your door security. Get yourself some top-notch deadbolt locks. Opt for single-cylinder, one-inch deadbolts, skip the double-cylinder ones, they can backfire in cases like fires. Even the best locks won't do much if your doors are those flimsy hollow core ones. A kid could kick those in. Swap them out for metal insulated or solid wood doors. Upgrade the set screws on your door hinges and strike plates. Get some door jammers. They can give you those crucial extra moments during a break-in attempt. In a lawless end-of-the-world scenario, a determined intruder won't let any lock stop them. You'll need to stack up on extra defenses like barricades, door stops, and flip locks to really seal up your place. Sprucing up those window sides. Let's get real about those window shutters most houses have. Most are just for show, right? They don't really function. They're often flimsy pieces of vinyl or cheap wood, just there for aesthetics. But what if we could turn that decorative piece into something more... protective? Yep, for all the windows in your house. First off, pinpoint where the studs are behind the shutters. Considering most shutters are decorative, they're probably just casually screwed onto your home siding. Even if you don't have shutters, you'll need to know where these studs are for what we're planning. Here's the game plan. Get some 1 16th steel plates, the same size as your current shutters or the ones you're going to buy. You'll want between 4 to 8 sheets of these plates. Why? Layered up, they do a better job stopping bullets than a solid chunk of steel. But don't go overboard. More than eight layers might get too heavy for your studs or make the shutters stick out in a weird, noticeable way. As for attaching these beefed-up shutters to your home, bolting them through the studs from outside might be best. It might mean a little indoor DIY to access the studs, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Just take your time. Go window by window. As for size, while typical shutters run the full length of a window and vary in width, aim for at least two feet wide for solid coverage. But don't go overboard. You don't want them looking out of place. Stealth is the name of the game here. After you've got your armored shutters up, give them a paint job, ensuring you cover any exposed steel bits. You want this upgrade to be our little secret after all. Getting tricky with booby traps. Quick disclaimer, 
Safety should always be your first priority. You never know when you or a loved one might accidentally stumble into one of your own traps, so it's always best to keep things on the safer side. That being said, there are plenty of ways to deter or delay intruders without causing harm. Tripwires. These are great for alerting you when someone's approaching. Attach bells or cans to a thin wire. When someone trips the wire, the noise will alert you. You can also connect them to flares or bright lights to not only alert, but also blind and disorient the intruder momentarily. Perimeter alarms. Similar to trip wires, these are simply battery-operated devices that you can set up around your property. They usually come with two components, a transmitter and a receiver. When someone or something interrupts the beam between them, it sets off a loud alarm, alerting you to the presence of an intruder. Pit traps. While they sound medieval, pit traps can be effective deterrents. Dig a shallow hole in the ground and cover it with a thin layer of leaves or grass. Intruders will unexpectedly step into it, twisting an ankle or just getting slowed down. Just ensure it's not too deep to cause serious harm. Corn flour explosive. Now, this one isn't lethal, but it does create a large puff of smoke when ignited, which can be disorienting. The principle here is that corn flour, when dispersed in the air, is flammable. If you rig up a small container to burst and spread the flour in the presence of a flame or spark, it'll create a quick fireball and smoke. But seriously, use this one with caution. It's essentially a controlled explosion, so safety first. Remember, the goal is to deter and delay, not harm. Always make sure you're within legal bounds when setting up any kind of home defense and always prioritize the safety of you and your loved ones. Booby traps can be a cool addition to your home's defenses, but they should never replace common sense measures like good locks, reinforced doors, and alert systems. And that's it for this video. If your home is prepped for SHTF, feel free to share more tips in the comments section. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the little bell icon too. Thanks and God bless.